Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Good afternoon everyone, welcome to the inauguration of the seven seaport development projects in the province of Bohol. To formally begin our program, may we call on Governor Arthur C. Yap for his welcome remarks. Pagbilaran City Host Mayor John Jesnel Babayap, Mayors of Bohol, led by LMP President Marietta Sumailo, other national and local officials, friends, fellow Bolanons, maajong adlaw kanatong tanan. Mayor, few presidents in the annals of our history can claim the distinction of supporting Bohol in the way that you have. In 2018, through your support, Bohol opened a world-class 2 million passenger capacity international airport costing 7.8 billion pesos which paved the way to make us one of the country's premier tourism destinations. As for the old Tagbilaran Airport, just last week, through the CAAP board chaired by Secretary Art Tugade, you allowed us to use a section as a temporary step-down facility site and another section as a pagsakan point to help Bohol's farmers and fisher folk lessen trading layers, increasing their incomes and lowering prices for consumers. Your government also completed the painstaking restoration of National Heritage Churches, watchtowers, and civic properties in Luon, Lobok, Cortes, Dimiao, Albor, Panglao, Tagbilaran City, Balilihan, and Luay, with one last church in Maribohok, set for turnover by the year's end. And to sustain tourism, trade, and commerce, Mr. President, you also further invested the amount of close to 1 billion pesos as we inaugurate this afternoon seven ports all over Bohol with additional expansions in Katakpakan, Loon, Etafe, Tubigon, and in this port of Tagbilaran City, your government, sir, will have invested 3.2 billion pesos in ports in Bohol from 2016. To 2022. And if Mr. President, history will record this as the biggest sports investment you have made in your administration in any one province, we know that what you actually have given us are not just infrastructure projects. You 
have in fact handed to us a brighter and more promising tomorrow for all Bolanons. We wish to do our part in Bohol so our economy can recover. For which reason, we are intensifying our vaccinations. We have stopped requiring RT-PCR tests for vaccinated entrants to Bohol. And pretty soon, when the situation is ripe, all that will be needed to enter Bohol is a vaccination card and an SPAS certificate. But there is one more important gift you are leaving us in a world today of fear and anxiety. By allowing your cabinet members to run for elections, you are giving us the possibility of continuity and stability. There is in fact, Mr. President, one exceptional member of your team who is serving us above and beyond the call of duty. Through the Malasakit centers and direct financial downloads to all mayors of Bohol, and I repeat, direct financial downloads to all mayors in the province of Bohol. He has, in your name, helped thousands medically and financially, including fire victims, the sick, the families of those who have died, small entrepreneurs, and many others, far too many to count. He answers calls way past midnight and always returns messages. Senator Christopher Lawrence Bong Tesorogo as the next Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines. As a token of gratitude, Infinity is a word used to describe, among others, feelings that are in Kundi pitong bagong kawang port projects dito sa lalawigan ng Bohol na ipinatupad ng Philippine Mahal na Pangulo na ang mga proyekto ito ay ilan lamang sa mahigit kumulang apat na raan at pitumput dalawang port projects na nakompleto ng DOTR at PPA sa loob lamang ng limang taon para sila sa Visayas kundi maging sa Mindanao at sa Luzon Nais ko pong ipaalam sa inyo na ang Tagbilaran Port ay naiwang nakatayag ng mga barko at makatutulong po ito na paluwagin ng kasalukuyang birds dito na magbibigay daan sa mas maraming biyahe ng mga kasasakyang pandagat. Ngayong unti-unti na pong lumuluwag ang mga restrictions dulat ng COVID-19, mas mapapabilis po nito ang pagbangon ng industriya ng turismo ng lalawigan dahil sa mas maraming biyahe ng barko at di na kailangan maghintay pa ng birthing space lalo na sa mga galing tourism destinations gaya ng Cebu at Dumaguete Nitong Abril po lamang ng taong kasalukuya pinasinayaan rin po natin ang bagong passenger terminal building 2 ng Pantalan sa kasalukuyan po, ginagawa na rin po ang karagdagang reinforced concrete pier para mas lalong mapabuti ang dekatik lang ang gumagamit na siyang isa sa malaking dahilan ng mabagal na paggalaw ng mga pasahero mula at galing sa mga lugar gaya ng Baybay sa Leyte. Ito po ang naging inspirasyon ng DOTR at PPA na ipagawa at tapusin kaagad ang mas malaki at maayos na concrete pier nito kahit sa kalagitnaan ng pandemya. Sa loob po ng ilang buwan, simula Desyembre 2020, kayang-kaya na po ng pantalan ng ubay na serbisyuhan ng mas malalaking barko at roro vessels na siyang nagpabago ng kanakasanayang kaugalian sa transport patterns ng lugar patungo at mula sa Samar, Leyte at Cebu kasama ng ilang reyon sa Mindanao. Upang magtuloy-tuloy po ang pagbabago, kasalukuyan na rin pong ginagawa ang passenger terminal building ng pantalan 
na inaasahang makukumpleto bago matapos ang inyong termino sa susunod na taon. Mahal na Pangulo. Ang daungan ng tapal ay nagsisilbing supplementary port ng mas malaking pantalan sa buhol. Nitong mga nakaraang taon, nakapagtala po ito ng mas mataas na numero ng barkong dumadao. Dagdag na dami ng kargamentong dumadaan sa pantalan at mga pasahero na nangangailangan ng mas malaki at mas modernong pasilidad. Upang mas lalong tumugon sa pangangailangan ng mga port users, ang stakeholders ipinagawa ng DOTR at PPA ang backup area at roro ramp ng pantalan. Ngayon po, mas maayos na pasilidad at serbisyo na ang tinatamasa ng mga port users at napababa na rin natin ang gastusin sa shipping ng mga produkto sa lugar. Ang pantalan naman po ng talibon ay siyang naging dahilan upang mapababa ang logistics cost ng mga kargamento tungo at mula sa hilagang buhol. Karagdagang biyahe rin ang binibigay ng talibon patungo sa mainland Cebu. Sumailalim na rin po ang pantalan sa ilang repair and maintenance procedures gaya ng mas maayos na roro ramp, mas malaking port area at ang paglalagay ng power transformer para sa passenger terminal building upang maging mas komportable at matiwasay ang pagbiyahe. Sa ngayon po, may mga karagdagang proyekto ang pinag-aaralan ng DOTR at PPA upang lalong mapaganda ang serbisyo ng pantalan. Ang daungan po ng loon ay siyang pangunahing daluyan ng lugar tungo sa Cebu at may kakayanan din na magserbisyo sa 500 tonelada na kargamento na dumadaan sa pantalan kada buwan. Dahil marami pong pasahero ang gumagamit sa pantalan, may ginawa na rin po tayong passenger terminal building dito para sa mas matiwasay at ligtas na pagbiyahe ng mga mamamayan. Ang huling daungan na ihahandog po namin sa inyo, mahal na Pangulo, ay ang Port of Maribuho na siyang pinakamalaking port project sa pitong proyektong inyo pong pinasinayaan ngayon. Naumpisahan po ang pagpapagawa ng pantalan matapos po naming bisitahin ni Secretary Artugade ang pantalan noong pong 2018. Ngayon po, Mr. President, matapos maiwang nakatiwangwang ng halos dalawang dekada ang pantalan, tapos na po ang proyekto. Handa na po ang maripuhok para sa hamon ng ports and shipping industry. Kayo po ang kadahilanan, Mr. President, at sa paggiya ni Sec. Artugade kung bakit nagagawa ng Philippine Ports Authority ang ganitong klaseng mga proyekto. Ito po ang aming pag-ambag sa Build, Build, Build program at ito po ay bahagi ng Duterte Legacy. Mabuhay po kayo, Ginoong Pangulo, mabuhay ang Pilipinas. Kasunod po nito ay isang maiksing uh, audio-video presentation para po doon sa ating mga proyekto. Salamat po. Build, Build, Build Program by the Department of Transportation Secretary Arthur P. Tugade and the Philippine Ports Authority's General Manager J. Daniel R. Santiago and funded by the Government of the Philippines. A modern and world-class seaport projects designed to significantly improve Bohol's integration to and connectivity with the archipelago and a concrete manifestation of PPA's vision to improve its port facilities and services in support of the national development for the Filipino and the traveling public. Pursuant to PPA Special Order Number 673-95, dated October 26, 1995, the terminal offices of Tagbilaran, Hagna, were placed under the newly created port management of Tagbilaran. On March 1, 1996, Port Management Office of Tagbilaran or PMO Tagbilaran was founded. For the past two decades, the ports under its administrative jurisdiction have grown and developed into revenue-generating and tourist-friendly gateways in the province of Bohol. Until on the 15th of October 2013, the province suffered, PPA suffered with it. The Boholanos injured it all, PPA injured it. 
our facilities may have fallen or their faith has not. Through the years, the PMO has undergone transformations not only in terms of human resources and port infrastructure, but also in the information structure with which we connect our ports to the people. Like a phoenix, Bohol seaports have risen from the ashes and spread its wings anew. Tagbilaran Seaport Development Project Hagna Seaport Development Project Dubai Seaport Development Project Tapal Seaport Development Project Talibon Seaport Development Project Luon Seaport Development Project Marimo Seaport Development Project Thank you, GM Santiago. At this juncture, we shall now witness the simultaneous unveiling of the markers of the seven seaport development projects in the province of Bohol. May we note that we are unveiling live here at the port of Tagbilaran while simultaneous unveiling of markers will be done at the following ports. with the assistance of terminal managers Rosalie Gonzalez, Marlu Bachoco, Katrina Bautista with the Municipal Engineer Dario Camoste, Municipal Administrator Oscar Francisco Valles and SB Member Jose Archa of the Municipality of Mabibuho Port of Luon with Terminal Manager Venus Garnica with Municipal Mayor Honorable L.B. Relambagos and Municipal Councilor Honorable Lydia Almasa of the Po of the Municipality of Luon Port of Talibon Terminal Manager Juanito Aniora with Municipal Mayor Janet Garcia and SP Member Normie Valmora of the Municipality of Talibon Port of Ubay with Terminal Manager Edgar Asibal with Municipal Mayor Constantino Reyes of the Municipality of Ubay. Port of Tapal with Terminal Managers Julius Sumagit and Romeo Cabadi with Municipal Mayor Victor Bunghanoy with Barangay Captain of Tapal Leonardo Kalaikai of the Municipality of Ubay. Port of Hagna with Terminal Manager Homer Datanagan with Municipal Mayor Joseph Raniola of the Municipality of Hagna. 
And now, may we request the President to lead the simultaneous unveiling of the markers to be assisted by Senator Christopher Lawrence Digo, DOTR Secretary Arthur P. Tugade, OPAM Secretary Michael Lloyd Dino, PPA General Manager Santiago, Governor Yap, and Tagbilaran City Mayor John Gisnel Aliyap II. Ready, Mr. President? On the count of three. One, two, three. The marker in the port of Tagbilaran read as follows. Construction of additional fast cap berth, port of Tagbilaran Bohol, inaugurated by President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, Republic of the Philippines, Kugo, Tagbilaran City, Bohol, on October 29, 2021. Completed under President Rodrigo Roa Duterte's Build, Build, Build program by the Department of Transportation and by the Philippine Ports Authority and funded by the Government of the Philippines. A modern and world-class seaport project designed to significantly improve Bohol's integration to and connectivity with the archipelago and a concrete manifestation of PPA's vision to improve its ports facilities and services in support of the national development for the Filipinos and the traveling public. Thank you, Mr. President, and congratulations, everyone. At this juncture, we may call on Department of Transportation Secretary Arthur B. Tugade to introduce our guest of honor. Fellow servants in government, ladies and gentlemen, nakita lang ko natin yung ceremonial unveiling of ceremonial markers sa pitong puertong ginawa ng Administrasyon Duterte. Itong okasyon ito ay nagpapaalala sa atin na kung saan nung kami nag-assume ng responsibilidad, ang sabi po ng Pangulo sa amin, Art, make the Filipino life convenient and comfortable. Ito hong unveiling ceremony ng pitong puerto ay magpapakita ang binibigyan namin buhay at patutuo yung tinatawag na making the Filipino life convenient and comfortable. Hindi po mangyayari itong mga seremonyang ito kung wala po tayong isang liderato na kung saan nagbigay ng suporta, inspirasyon, courage, and endurance for us to be able to do this project. It is therefore my deep privilege, honor, and signal opportunity to present to you, ladies and gentlemen, fellow servants in government, our leader, our inspiration, our support, na kung saan, kung wala ho siya, wala itong mga programang ito. The President of the Republic of the Philippines, Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte. na po sige tanaw sige pangita guapa sige kong hong hong kamuman kala ginsa mo na siya kala kala na ginsa mo na siya kala kala na ginsa mo na siya kala okay ba walita ko kung mga mga tulga ron sinood lang pero wak wak bukal bukal ah Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugade, Presidential Assistant for Visayas, 
Michael Dino, Senator Bongo, Bohol First District Representative Edgar Chato, Bohol Second District Representative Enrico Aristotel Omentano, Bohol Third District Representative Christine Alexi Chutor, Bohol Governor Arturiap Mogini sa akong amo. Tagbilaran si Timeo Jan Gisnel Yap, Philippine Ports Authority General Manager J. Daniel Santiago, Antequera Municipal Mayor Eliuso Nunag, Baclaran Municipal Mayor Vinicio Oy, Daghan akong i- acknowledge mahumang kung ano mga alas 7 siguro uli na ta Balilihan Municipal Mayor Maria Ores Cachato Buenavista Municipal Mayor Dave Del Rosario Dualio Calape Municipal Mayor Nelson Yu Candihay Municipal Mayor Christopher Chutor ay pag-grip ko sa public mo. Lek mo na yung ilang alang sa tanang ko. Mora na itong iya sa buhol. Katigbihan, Municipal Mayor Elizabeth Mandingan Pase. Klarin, Municipal Mayor Eugenio Ibarra. Cortez, Municipal Mayor Lynn Ivan Lim. Danao, Municipal Mayor Jose Cipidosa Bangkuna po na akong mayor sa akong lugar Actually, I have not visited Danao for the longest time Danao, uh, Dawis, Municipal Mayor Marieta Sumailo Murag parente ko na siya Huwag ba na yun? Sihal naman, ma'am. Uh, ulit tao ko. Wala-wala akong limot na na. Pero dagang kong uyab. Lila Municipal Mayor Arturo Polio Garcia Hernandez Municipal Mayor Tita Baja Loon Municipal Mayor Libby Peter Relampagos Municipal Mayor Juanito Hamuyo Maribuho Municipal Mayor Romulo Manuta Alas 10 na Panglao Municipal Mayor Leonola Montero Pilar Municipal Mayor Nisitas Cubrado President Garcia Municipal Mayor Fernando Estabilia Sagbayan Municipal Mayor Instituto Suarez III San Isidro Municipal Mayor Diosdado Jimentiza San Miguel Municipal Mayor Virgilio Mendez Sevilla Municipal Mayor Juliet Dano Trinidad Municipal Mayor Joseph, Judith, sorry, Judith Cases Ubay Municipal Mayor Cristantino Reyes Fellow Workers in Government Akong mga uh, kaigsuonan Napaidugang ninyo Pangkuhan Ay mong kagol Huwag mo kumagdali It is my honor to join you today as we inaugurate the newly improved port of Takbilaran and the six other newly improved seaports of Bohol. I commend the Department of Transportation and the Philippine Ports Authority under the leadership of Secretary 
Secretary Arthur Tugade for successfully completing these projects that mark another milestone under our Build, Build, Build program. Ni si Tugade, classmate me. Siya nang among valedictorian sa law school. Dili siya engineer. Mas maayo din siya sa mga construction. Pero, billionaire yun ano eh. He's a billionaire, actually. Reconstructions and repairs done in these ports will allow Bohol to accommodate more people and goods from neighboring provinces and contribute much to the province's recovery from the pandemic. I am also confident that these ports will strengthen the capacity of Bohol as a catalyst of economic growth in Central Visaya. All these developments support this administration's vision to provide our people with improved mobility as well as other comfortable, productive, and dignified life for every Filipino. I would like to commend Governor Art Iyak and the provincial government to Bohol for successfully implementing its COVID response management plan of action. Again, congratulations to everyone on this achievement. Mabuhay tayong lahat. Kotobra ko nga rin. Mura rin isuwar. Pitao, congratulations. Kaliwat ko po. Hindi na ako tax o istorya. Taas na eh. Pero, na ako'y dugo nga rin sa Anon kong uh, litenyo Dito ko na Pag uh, Tawa ka na sabi Saya, bakwit Pag evacuation niya to Mga pamilya sa Sundalo eh. Ang papa My father was the first military Mayor sa Danau City Nana sa So, I feel so inadequate sa akong isulti. Actually, dahil nga ako ikasulti sa Bohol, the resilience of the people, pati dahil nga nakita po ako. And yet, just like uh, any other Filipino, we, atong iugom ang kalisod o kasakit and Bohol is a very thriving province. Kung kita ko inan si Art, pa-island man ko na libuti o kuan. Kaya mura mo na ilang Art, kung naman mo na highway nila. It's so compact, not so big, not so small, but you need, you need the seaports really to move. Tama itong uh, desisyon na mo. Someday, well, uh, you can build another structure here for the for the nonce for the moment uh, okay kayo ang basta ang katawan so tanga buhol man ang akong lola may ngon lang ko sa akong mga kaigsuna lang at tanga buhol na inaot punta magmalipayo no, sa inyong bagong landinganan kasi kasa halos nalibot na tanan katumbo ka o pantalan kasi kasa muna ay guwapo that uh, really improves the mobility of people faster and easier and convenient uh, pasalamatong kong uh, gibuhat ni Art sa lugar sa akong uh, mga minuno no? so di na lang kong mag bugay kay 
ngit-ngit na nababasig dili makatuod ang piloto pagbalik o kaasa may ani. I have to, uh, pa- pauli ko, padabaw na ko, diritso na ko. Pero, sana, eh, ano yung security na ko? Si, Kernel Kabangbang, kung gani silang, ano yung piyana ko? Stricto kayo, gusto ko mo, magpunta ako dyan, ha? na kayo. Di ba, di ba kukunin lang tugtan? Di ko na tugtan. Di ako, di nodito na. I really want to be with the people. As shake hands. Ah, kanang kagakakagaw. Panahonin mo, panahon na yun. Kadanghan ang matay niya. Mamili ako na. At gusto kong mag-ihugoy-hugoy binisaya pa. Uh, I'd like to taking ang talang guapa ko sa kon oh, may punahon na ron itong medyo mga laki tiguang na yun lang to kaya <laughs> di may tabi noong ron na sige uh, okay, hindi li, ako yung manaog hindi ko kailangan na panaog eh okay, uh, yung laman o lang ko Congratulations to everyone on this achievement. This is your achievement. Thank you, Mr. President. At this point, may we request the President to grant us a photo opportunity. First batch on stage will be from the DOTR and PPA officials. the members of the stage party so please uh, stay stay for a while on stage for the photo opportunity and the first batch will be for DOTR and PPA officials Department of Transportation Secretary Arthur P. Tugade and of course our General Manager Santiago to remain on stage for the photo opportunity with the members of the DOTR and PPA officials. second batch governor with all board members
much. May we request governor with all members or shall I say the board members of the first and second third districts. Also, Senator Bongo to please remain on stage for the photo opportunity. Next in line, uh, Bohol 1st District Representative Edgar M. Chato. Representative Enrico Arosato Aumentado. Representative Christine Alexi Tutor. Beloved City Mayor John Gisdell Yap II and his wife Jane Yap. Please prepare Ante Kera Municipal Mayor Lelioso Nuna. Ante Kera Municipal Mayor Lilioso Luna. Please prepare Baclayon Municipal Mayor Benesho Uy. Thank you. 
Baclayon Municipal Mayor Benesho Uy. Please prepare Balilihan Municipal Mayor Maria Poresa Chato. Thank you, Municipal Mayor of Baclayon, Benesho Uy. Balilihan Municipal Mayor Maria Poresa Chato. Prepare Buena Vista Municipal Mayor Dave Del Rosario Dualio. Thank you very much, Buena Vista Municipal Mayor Dave Del Rosario Dualio. Please prepare Calape Municipal Mayor Nelson Yu. Thank you. Requesting Calapay Municipal Mayor Nelson Yu. Please prepare Kandihay Municipal Mayor Christopher Tutor. Thank you. Kandihay Municipal Mayor Christopher Tutor. is Cortez Municipal Mayor Lynn Ivan Lim. Please prepare Katibian Municipal Mayor Elizabeth Mandin Pase. Thank you very much. On stage is San Miguel Municipal Mayor. Municipal Mayor Virgilio Mendez. Thank you very much. Katibian Municipal Mayor Elizabeth Mandin Pase. Kalarin Municipal Mayor Eugenio Ibarra. Kalarin Municipal Mayor Eugenio Ibarra. Thank you very much, Katibian Municipal Mayor. Garcia Hernandez Municipal Mayor Tita Baja. Danao Municipal Mayor Jose Sepedoza. Danao Municipal Mayor Jose Sepedoza. Dawis Municipal Mayor Marietta Sumailo. Dawis Municipal Mayor Marietta Sumailo. Please be there once again on stage. Dawis Municipal Mayor Marietta Sumailo. Loon Municipal Mayor L.B. Peter Relampagos. Loon Municipal Mayor L.B. Peter Relampagos. On stage once again, Loon Municipal Mayor L.B. Peter Relampagos. Thank you very much. Lil 
Lila Municipal Mayor Arturo Piolio. Lila Municipal Mayor Arturo Piolio. Thank you very much. Mabini Municipal Mayor Juanito Hayoma. Mabini Municipal Mayor Juanito Hayoma. Thank you very much, Maribok Municipal Mayor Romulo Manuta. Maribok Municipal Mayor Romulo Ramuta. Panglao Municipal Mayor Leonila Paredes Montero and Honorable Councillor Aya Montero Kaindek. Thank you very much. Please prepare Pilar Municipal Mayor Nesitas Cubrado. Pilar Municipal Mayor Nesitas Cubrado. President Garcia, Municipal Mayor Fernando Estavilla. President Garcia, Municipal Mayor Fernando Estavilla. Please prepare Sagbayan Municipal Mayor Restituto Suarez III. Sagbayan Municipal Mayor Restituto Suarez III. Please prepare San Isidro Municipal Mayor Diosdado Hementiza. Sevilla Municipal Mayor Juliet Dano. Sevilla Municipal Mayor Juliet Dano. Trinidad Municipal Mayor, please prepare Trinidad Municipal Mayor Judith Cajes. Thank you. Ubay Municipal. Mayor Cristantino Reyes. Requesting the officials of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. National Police, Philippine National Police. Philippine National Police, 
Please prepare Philippine Coast Guard. Philippine Coast Guard. officials of the provincial government of Bohol. Again, Governor Art Yap and the officials of the provincial government of Bohol. Thank you very much. This concludes our program. Maraming salamat, mahal na pangulo sa pangunguna sa inaugurasyon ng pitong seaport na mag-uugnay ng Bohol, hindi lamang sa karating probinsya, pati na rin sa buong mundo. Dagang salamat, hinigugma namang presidente sa inyong pagpanguna sa inaugurasyon sa pitong seaport na proyekto diri sa probinsya sa Bohol.